How to hit a cart without a battery, extant power. In this video, we'll explore all the basics of hitting a cart without a battery, from the mechanics to the equipment you'll need and the advanced strategies you can use to become an expert. So let's dive in and learn how to hit a cart without a battery. Section 1, Introduction to Hitting a Cart Without a Battery Hitting a cart without a battery is a great way to save money and time. No longer do you have to worry about buying and maintaining a battery or having to charge it after every use. Instead, you can just hit the cart without the battery and get on your way. But it's not as easy as it looks. Hitting a cart without a battery requires skill and precision. You have to be able to correctly identify the right spot to hit, apply the right amount of force, and be able to keep your accuracy over a long distance. So let's dive into the mechanics of hitting a cart without a battery and the techniques you'll need to master in order to become an expert. Section 2, The Mechanics of Hitting a Cart Without a Battery The mechanics of hitting a cart without a battery are quite simple. The key is to identify the right spot to hit and then to apply the right amount of force. The right spot to hit is the center of the cart. You want to aim for the center of the cart as this is the most stable spot. It's also the spot that will give you the most control over the cart. Once you've identified the right spot to hit, you need to apply the right amount of force. You want to use enough force to move the cart, but not so much that it goes too fast or too far. You also want to make sure that the force is evenly distributed. Finally, you need to make sure that you have good posture when you hit the cart. Keep your arms and hands in the correct position and make sure your back is straight. This will help you maintain your accuracy and control. Section 3, Preparing to Hit a Cart Without a Battery Now that you know the mechanics of hitting a cart without a battery, it's time to prepare yourself to hit the cart. Before you hit the cart, make sure you have all the necessary equipment. This includes a golf cart, golf balls, a driver, and a golf tee. You also want to make sure that you have the right stance. Your feet should be shoulder width apart and your weight should be evenly distributed between your feet. Your knees should be slightly bent and your arms should be relaxed. Finally, make sure you have enough practice space. You should have at least 10 feet of room in front of you so that you can practice your swing. Section 4, Developing Your Technique now that you have all the necessary equipment and have prepared your stance, it's time to develop your technique. The key here is to practice, practice, practice. Start off by practicing your swing with a golf ball. Make sure you are using the correct posture and that you are applying the right amount of force. Then, once you are comfortable with the swing, start practicing with a golf tee. Focus on your accuracy. Make sure you are hitting the tee in the center of the cart. You can also practice hitting the golf ball with the tee to get a better feel for the swing. Section 5, Using the Right Equipment Once you have developed your technique, it's time to make sure you have the right equipment to hit a cart without a battery. The best equipment to use is a golf cart, golf balls, a driver, and a golf tee. Golf carts come in a variety of shapes and sizes. Make sure you choose one that is the right size for you. You also want to make sure it is comfortable to use and easy to control. You also need to make sure you have the right golf balls and driver. The right golf balls will give you the right amount of control over the cart and the right driver will make sure you are applying the right amount of force. Section 6, Tips for Improving Your Accuracy Improving your accuracy is key to hitting a cart without a battery. Here are some tips for improving your accuracy. Make sure you are using the correct stance. Keep your feet shoulder width apart and your weight evenly distributed between your feet. Your knees should be slightly bent and your arms should be relaxed. Make sure your swing is consistent. You want to make sure you are applying the same amount of force every time you hit the cart. Focus on your target. Visualize the spot on the cart where you want the ball to land and make sure you are aiming for it. Practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better your accuracy will become. Section 7, Advanced Strategies for Hitting a Cart Without a Battery Once you have mastered the basics of hitting a cart without a battery, you can start to use some advanced strategies. These strategies will help you become an expert at hitting a cart without a battery. One strategy is to use a golf ball launcher. This is a great way to practice your accuracy. You can set the launcher up at different distances and aim for different targets. This will help you get a better feel for how to hit the cart without a battery. Another strategy is to practice with different types of golf balls. Different types of golf balls have different amounts of spin and trajectory. Practicing with different types of golf balls will help you become more proficient at hitting a cart without a battery. Finally, you can practice hitting the cart without a battery in various environments. 
This will help you develop your skills in different conditions. For example, you can practice in the wind, on uneven terrain, and in different types of weather. Section 8, Practicing Hitting a Cart Without a Battery Now that you know the basics and have some advanced strategies, it's time to start practicing hitting a cart without a battery. You can do this in a variety of ways. You can practice in your backyard or at a driving range. You can also practice in a golf course or at a golf simulator. Make sure you are practicing in a safe environment and that you are using the correct equipment. You also want to make sure that you are taking your time. Don't rush your swing. Make sure you are focusing on your accuracy and that you are applying the right amount of force. Section 9, Common Mistakes and How to Avoid Them When learning how to hit a cart without a battery, it's important to avoid common mistakes. Here are some of the most common mistakes and how to avoid them. Not using the correct stance. Not using the right equipment. Not practicing enough. Not focusing on accuracy. Section 10, Conclusion. In this video, we explored all the basics of hitting a cart without a battery, from the mechanics to the equipment you'll need and the advanced strategies you can use to become an expert. We also discussed common mistakes and how to avoid them. So if you're looking to save money and time, and improve your golf game, make sure to give hitting a cart without a battery a try. Visit our website, www.extempower.com.